Hey, I'm Max Mensing. Today I'm going to be reviewing this thing. This is the brand uh, S3 Deep Cup Mouthpiece, made in Switzerland. And this is the booster that goes on it. Um, so, I, I found this thing through Instagram. I, found, I saw a couple tuba players playing on it, and I was like, that thing looks weird. Um, and the more I listened to them playing on it, the more I liked it. The more I wanted to try it for myself. And I couldn't really find where to buy it myself, so I reached out to one of those tuba players, Bubba Gaffney, uh, because he's one of the brand artists. And uh, he got me in contact with the company, which... I'll show you the email later that you can send to get this mouthpiece because it's not listed on their website. But if you email them, they can tell you what they have. Um, so the options that I have obviously is a green mouthpiece with the silver, the satin silver tone booster. Um, and these two together work really great. Obviously the color of the plastic doesn't make a difference, but this thing is great. Um, so if you can see in there, you can see it's kind of rifled in there. That's their turbo flow um, tone booster technology thing that they do to help with the tone of a plastic mouthpiece because a plastic mouthpiece on its own does not sound that great. This one is, I love it. Um, it gets a great tone quality because of this booster and it's really soft. Like this is the best feeling mouthpiece I have ever played. Um, I played it on F2 the other night for two hours in a, con in a uh, Charlotte concert band rehearsal, and it didn't feel like I had played for two hours. I, if I hadn't known I had just played for two hours, I would not have known I played for two hours. And I played it on uh, my Wessexburg F tuba on Tuesday. Monday night uh, was the first night I had it. I tried it on my Con 14K sousaphone. So, some specs on the mouthpiece itself. Um, so this is the S3 Deep Cup. It's the cup is 32 uh, millimeters. Rim is 7.55. Bore 7.55. Depth is 36.2 millimeters. Um, and I'll put the chart in with my review. Um, I'll post that with the review. Just like the email to contact the company. So this thing was uh, 165 bucks total. So the mouthpiece itself was like 85, I want to say, and the cup, not the cup, the uh, booster was 80, and they took off 15 bucks because I bought them together, and then 15 dollars shipping. It was at 165. But um, um, there's other color options available. Um. If you order it, and they have to order it from Switzerland to get different colors. And as far as I know, there is satin silver and stainless steel boosters in the United States right now. Uh, I think Bubba Gaffney has all of the inventory for the tuba mouthpieces. And he has green mouthpieces. That's it. He's got this the satin silver, and he's got the stainless steel boosters. So... If you want another color or if you want another finish uh, booster, they'll have to order it and have it shipped from Switzerland, so it'll take a little bit longer. This took like two days to get to Charlotte, North Carolina from New Jersey. So I'm going to play a little bit with it now. So you can get a good idea of what it sounds like. This is my uh, Con 14K that I was talking about. Thank you. 
like I was saying, um, this thing is super soft. I can't really feel it when I play. Um, hour the other night of practicing on this horn, two hours the next night. Um, it does a really great job for your endurance. I really like the tone on it. Um, it does lack a little bit of warmth that you get from like this mouthpiece, which is my Parker Hits with the HBG mod rim that you would get. Um, this norm this rim normally comes with the Joanna Hersey model Parker mouthpiece. Um, anyway, so I'll do a blind side by side with this here in a minute, but. Um, the brand gets just a little bit less warmth because of the plastic, uh, but the booster really helps thicken it up, gives it a more darker tone than it would on the plastic on its own, but you can hear a difference, um, which I don't think is that big of a deal when you're playing sousaphone and the type of stuff that I do. You might disagree with that. That's fine. Um, I'm trying to think here. I'm a little nervous doing this video. I've never done a video before. Um, so I cannot say enough good things about this inch, this uh, mouthpiece. So I'm just going to go ahead and do the blind side by side. So I'll be off camera for that. Um, can you tell me which one I'm going to play on? Chops. that song more but um overall great mouthpiece you just heard this out the side by side um i don't think there was an incredible amount of difference between them so in the comments below you can tell me which mouthpiece did max just play um so getting the mouthpiece um you have to email the company you have to email the representative at the company which i'll put in the description of the video. Um, I will put in the spec chart for the mouthpiece. Um, anything else you guys need to know, just let me know down in the comments. Thanks.